that Tom Doc here. Yep. Especially because um, we've been running some stories recently on Daybreak, and a lot of folks at home might recognize this yes. about blue green algae in lakes and ponds because what was it? Three dogs died in North Three Carolina. Three dogs in North Carolina, right? Oh. And and a couple of them started seizing immediately, which is one of the signs, and they all died within two days. My goodness. And they had jumped into a lake, and that's where this algae grows. Now, of course, folks are asking about what's happening in Indiana. Yeah, right. no, no, no cases in Indiana. No yet. cases. Okay. I no. talked to the Board of Animal Health right. recently, and no cases yet. They have found that algae, though. When we did a story on it, we found out that Lake Monroe and Lake Mississinawa have really? high levels mm -hmm. of their asking You do not take your dogs to either of those lakes. But then the central Indiana lakes, uh, Geist, Eagle Creek, Fort Harrison, Morse, are still pending testing, which means you might better want to, safe you might want to play safe. Right, not That's let them in, not let them go swimming, or if they do, get them rinsed off with a warm, soapy bath afterwards. Yeah, because I want to ask what the risk is on this. I mean, what would you expect to see if a dog gets in this situation? So it depends on the type of blue green algae. Now, these are bacteria, okay? These are microorganisms, mm -hmm. and if they get above about a hundred thousand count. Per milliliter of water, that's when we start seeing problems. Mm. We have a liver toxin that some species will put out. The liver toxin, basically, you're going to see, I don't want to eat, I start vomiting, maybe diarrhea, maybe black tarry stool, I start mm. losing some weight. That one, you know, maybe we can hospitalize and do better, but it's the neurotoxin that we're really Jeez. concerned about. So that's going to affect the muscles and the nervous system. You're going to have a dog that gets muscle fasciculations or tremors. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden they're very stilted because their muscles are stiff and rigid. Oh. And then seizures, of course, they can't breathe because the diaphragm is a muscle. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to get a dog who basically dies. That's probably what happened with these dogs in North Carolina is they died literally within 15 to 30 minutes. Well, and it was hard because they showed pictures of the dogs playing at the park. I mean, that's where they were. They were at this lake. They were playing fetch in the oh, water. Yeah, right. yeah. And but the thing is, if you don't don't take any time, go to your vet. Don't Google it, as Tom said. Don't, oh my goodness, you know, yes. Don't Google. Doctor, don't talk Dr. with Google's your friends. Google's not yeah. paying any attention right. here. Right. <laughs> My goodness. Okay, so then what would you recommend people do in central Indiana? Now, we've got these tests out. We had the information, of course, about the two lakes you definitely shouldn't avoid. Right. What about the ones where they say, okay, we just have a low level of this algae? They say things like, don't drink the water, shower afterwards. Well, you and say and that? use your common sense. Right. That water doesn't look good. Right. Yeah. I mean, if you see that bright green algae, there's probably a concern. But, you know, it's hard to get our dogs, especially off leash, from drinking from something like mm -hmm. that, right? So try to just keep them away. Keep them on lead if you're in an area that you're not familiar with. Mm -hmm. If it's on your property, you might need to fence off that area if you're concerned yeah. about this. And remember, if you've got livestock, horses, goats, things like that, they can drink this and be affected as well. Jeez. We can be affected also. Now, I know you know the animal side of this. Do you mm -hmm. also know how long it would take for this algae to dissipate then and maybe we can get our animals back into Mississinawa and Monroe Lake? Well, I think it's going to depend on the water temperature a lot. I really don't know the answer, but I bet if you go to the Department of Environmental Management's yeah. website, they've got a great update on this. Not only their testing schedule, mm -hmm. which lakes to avoid, but more about this cyanobacteria as well. Because this happens in the summer, obviously, it when does. it's warm and the bacteria can grow like crazy. Right, and, and if you've got stagnant water, if you've got water that have a lot of nutrients, and specifically phosphorus and nitrogen. Mm -hmm. And so we want to be careful also. This lot goes back to herbicides and pesticides that we use just <laughs> in our yards that run off and get into the creeks and then into ponds and everything as well. So that is part of this issue. But I've been talking about this for probably 10, 12 years now. Okay, so not a new issue, right. but something scary, Patty. I mean, we're all looking at this going, this is our dogs, you know, this right. is, I know. they're just out playing. Yeah, well, just, just better safe than sorry is all I can always say. So check with the, the, the locations again. You said to the Indiana Department of Environmental, Environmental Management. Management. Right. Yes, uh, we've and, got the links yeah. on wishtv.com, especially mm -hmm. to the updated map. I just posted it to my Facebook right. page ahead right. of this thinking this is a big deal. Yeah, a lot of people are really concerned over it. Coming up at Pet Pals TV at 10 o'clock, right after Brenna, we've got more with, more with Tom Dock. I'm on again. More Oh, Tom. That's why you get the big bucks here. Uh, you're you're going to talk about what you do in a disaster, like if you have a car accident or the house fire. What about your pets? And then on Great Day TV, uh, Stewie wants to stomp. He pet won't him. let you stop. On Great Day Tom. TV, uh, a fabulous uh, entertainer. He can do wigs. He can act. He can do makeup. His name is Daniel Klingler. He's back in town. He's from Columbus, Indiana, originally. And he's back in town, went to Broadway, he works there now, but back to do beef and boards to do hairspray. Okay, lots to look forward to on a Hairspray. Sunday. Thanks for coming in and sharing Thanks. this big message. We My so pleasure. appreciate it.